As someone who's grown up in San Diego, Little Italy has always been one of my favorite neighborhoods, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what to see, do, and eat here. I'm gonna turn the camera out so you can see what I can see, and we are walking down India Street, which oddly enough, yes, the main street in Little Italy is called India Street. I didn't name it. <laughs> You'd have to talk to the city council people who gave it its name. But this square here is essentially the main square in Little Italy. It is on India and Date Street. And you can see there's all these public tables out here that you can sit and grab a meal, grab a lunch. Uh, I am here about eight o'clock on a Wednesday and well, it's a little chilly, so not too busy right now, but during summertime for lunch, it is quite busy out here. This is also the hub of the Little Italy Farmer's Market that is on Wednesday and Saturday mornings. Now, if we turn in here, this is the Little Italy Food Hall. If you want to come to one place and can't quite decide what to eat and maybe don't even want Italian food, check this spot out. You'll find there's Asian food, there's hamburgers, there's a bar, there's a chicken place, and some gelato right here, which you should definitely get gelato when you are in Little Italy. There's a neat fountain just over this way, and then there's kind of like one more uh, establishment, the eatery slash bar. The Little Italy food hall continues on the other side, and this little frost meat cafe and bakery, well, they're open earlier for breakfast and lunch. Uh, this is just a cool neighborhood to come if you're looking to spend an hour or two walking around, or if you are looking for a really good meal, uh, particularly Italian food, you're definitely gonna find it in Little Italy. And like, it's not just good food, but like the vibe of the restaurants is really interesting here too. Just taking a look at this place with the interesting staircase and the lighting up there. And you'll also find lots of Italian flags here. At one point, 6,000 Italian families actually called Little Italy home. Uh, but uh, today, not many Italians remain in Little Italy. There's a few, we'll check out one yellow house uh, that there's definitely a resident who's been here for a long time. So taking a look at this map, let me show you where we are. Uh, Little Italy on this map. This is Fifth Avenue. I've got another walking tour on Fifth Avenue, uh, but here in Little Italy, we are along India Street, this blue line right here. The bay is right here. The airport is this way, and the San Diego Convention Center is over there. In addition to restaurants, there's a lot of bars popular one is the Princess Pub and Grill, serving Guinness. That's right, a British pub. Uh, lots of street side outdoor dining here. These are uh, relics of COVID, but most of these restaurants have kept their outdoor dining because they know people like them. And they really, you know, the outdoor dining here is just an afterthought. They've got heat lamps and nice tables. And uh, so it's a quite nice place to sit. As you can see at eight o'clock on this Wednesday night, just past sunset time, lots of people are dining out here. Now this spot, Salunto, uh, this used to be a bakery, like an Italian bakery that served bread, now turned restaurant. You can still get some Italian baked goods in there too. Uh, my wife and I really also really enjoyed this one, Buon Appetito. A lot of these places, I do recommend you make a reservation if you want to eat here because quite busy and quite popular. And uh, right next door to Buen Appetito, they've got their wine bar. And then next to that, they've got their little market. So if you're looking for Italian goods, pastas, drinks, things like that, you'll find it right in here. There are a few more Italian markets that we're gonna see as we continue exploring Little Italy. Uh, and so these tall buildings you see down here, that is downtown San Diego. And we're gonna go ahead and turn right on Cedar. All of these cross streets that cross India uh, are alphabetical. So we started at Date, we're now at Cedar. We're gonna go the other way and we'll find the letters go the other way of the alphabet. If you're looking for burgers, you'll find some here at the Burger Lounge. 
And by the way, parking is definitely challenging here in Little Italy. Uh, you'll find some street parking. Pretty much all of it is metered if you find any street parking uh, or just pay for valet or to park in a parking garage. You know, don't give up hope because if you're looking for free parking on a Saturday when there's a farmer's market, you might be looking 10 blocks away. Uh, this is Crudo, a ceviteria and an oyster bar with friendly people inside. This store sells magical gifts, gems, elixirs, that sort of thing. Uh, a lot of people live here in Little Italy because there's a lot of condos. So they got doggy bags for all the people you'll see walking there. Doggies that need to take a poo-poo. Sorrento. This one has a lot of outdoor dining as well. Uh, restaurant, bar, and pizzeria. You'll find many of these restaurants also have people that stand at podiums outside to help explain the menu to you, let you know how long the wait's going to be. Here we've got Iron Side Fish and Oysters, established in 2014. Related to the vibe, you can see this place just has a really interesting vibe on the inside. What, a little bit darker on the inside than outside, so then come out super bright on the inside. Uh, ice cream, salt and straw. This place is super popular, has a super long line. <laughs> like, super long line. I mean, that goes inside and then it goes back this way around the Parakeet Cafe. When I walked by here about an hour and a half ago, the line was tiny, but at eight o'clock, it is quite busy. Back here on the right, we see that uh, plaza again on Indian Date Street where we started this, which is right by the Little Italy sign as well. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and cross the street after this car goes by so that I don't get run over and die uh, because, well, then I couldn't upload this video. That would be, that would be no good. This place, Farmer's Table, established in 2016, has a neat little bar right here that backs up onto the sidewalk with some heat lamps. If you're looking for pizza by the slice, you'll find it right over there at Mr. Moto Pizza. And uh, oh, I'll just, I'll poke the camera in here because this place looks brighter. Nice open kitchen back there. Nice open bar. It's just kind of a cool vibe. Sit in these places, all of them family friendly. And many of them, since they have outdoor seating and patio seating, are uh, friendly to eat for doggies out here on the patio seating. Zucchero here. This uh, their sign says they're a gelateria and uh, pasta, pasteria. I probably I probably read that wrong, uh, but they are right under the Little Italy sign. You see up there, and uh, this place does indeed have some uh, gelato right here. You see the hand scoop gelato right there. All right. <coughs> But uh, there's plenty of gelato. If you don't want gelato, then there are also a number of popsicle places, in particular Mexican popsicles. We are just north of Mexico, and so there's a couple of spots famous for their Mexican popsicles. This one, Mimos, uh, was another like little Italian village that back in the day had like a few different eateries. Now it's more of a upscale Italian restaurant, which is what almost all these things have turned into. Uh, this is kind of a famous landmark here in Little Italy. It's the That's Amore chair. So if you're looking to get your like perfect photo, you're going to find it right here with the That's Amore chair, Little Italy sign in the back. Oh, and I said the yellow house pool guy who lives in this yellow house, you'll often see him sitting out in front. And you'll find lots of pedicabs that you can rent uh, by the ride to help take you around if you don't want to walk anymore. An institution here is the Felipe's Pizza Grotto. This is probably one of the most well-known restaurants. Lots of seats in here. If you're looking for casual Italian dining, I know many people like this place. It's got uh, like a Italian deli here and then quite a line if you are looking to be seated and that's just how it works. You just get in line and line up in what often is quite a long line or give up on the line and pick yourself up some pasta. Uh, but my favorite Italian restaurant, we haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, we'll find that as we continue down India Street 
this way. A lot of these buildings have plaques on them that tell you uh, when they were built or tell you the history of the sign. So uh, you can keep your eyes on those as you look around. Felipe's, uh, one nice part about it, it does have its own parking lot. Big parking lot here, which most restaurants don't. That is assuming you can actually find a parking spot in there. Landini's Pizzeria. This was like a small pizzeria that's now turned into like a, another pretty big eating establishment because they've got this outdoor seating. Um, and uh, you can see they've got pizza by the slice over here. How much is a pizza gonna cost you at Landini's? Two slices and a soda, $11.99. Oh, and actually, this uh, restaurant in front, not Landini's. Landini's has these seats over here. That's the restaurant that's upstairs. Some other Cucina Italiana. It's uh, July, so we've got uh, the American flag up there. People celebrating Independence Day. A relic here in Little Italy is Blick Art Materials. If you're looking for uh, artist supplies, markers, paints, high-end stuff like that, that's a good source for it. This is Civico, another popping, you guessed it, Italian restaurant. This is the second kind of like <clears throat> uh, square here, uh, Piazza Barcelona. And uh, I just want to point out, there's a truck here, the Little Italy Association of San Diego. So they kind of don't wait for the city to help like maintain stuff. They have their own business association that maintains these things. And that's what like maintains the common furniture, the plants, the fountains. This is like a cool fountain right here of the earth. Uh, and so that's how Little Italy has been able to like make itself so vibrant and nice. All of the merchants or businesses down here they kind of like chip in a little bit to all um do all this like kind of public stuff that they've done down here which is neat this is a example of one of the like history signs where they tell you about some uh legendary people who live in little italy continuing our walk down this way you'll see that uh some of these restaurants outside have lights out here so it's not completely dark they run up their string lights. This one is Barbusa, which, boy, as I walk by, let me tell you, Barbusa does smell quite, quite tasty. And uh, Barbusa has a little tiny parking lot next to it. Valet parking, they like double, triple stack the cars that are in here. Uh, if you are looking for burgers and you didn't want to eat the previous burger shop that we checked out, there's a branch of Shake Shack just down this way. And there's some really noisy motorcycles going by. This Shake Shack is pretty unique because it has a lot of outdoor dining. It's like, it probably used to be a, like, a gas station or car mechanic place. And then it was a grab and go sandwich place. And now it's turned into a hamburger spot. All right. Uh, this. Holt, oh, so loud, Holt Brewery right here. Uh, this is a interesting little bar, kind of in the world of divey bars slash breweries. Nice place to get a drink. What's a drink gonna cost you here? Well, uh, they don't post the prices of their beers out here, do they? But they got sandwiches and they got cheeseburgers. And as we go on letters, this is India and Grape Street. So you see, we've gone up to the G's and then we're gonna go up one more block to Hancock where we're gonna find my favorite Italian restaurant in Little Italy right up there. I'll come back to you as soon as this light or any turns green. All right, green light crossing the street to not die. You know, the drivers here are not super courteous as you can see, but hey, whatever, man. They were from Arizona, the Zonies. They descend on San Diego in the summertime. I have nothing against people from Arizona. I do have something against people who kind of like cut off pedestrians in, uh, in crosswalks, though. Here on the right, we've got uh, some place that's not currently open. You know, COVID wasn't too good to a lot of San Diego because it's a big touristy town, but Little Italy fared relatively well uh, because a lot of locals come here too. 
If you're looking for a psychic to get a tarot card reading, you'll find it in this yellow house. If you're looking for a uh, another one of the Mexican pasta place, Mexican popsicle place, you'll find it there. You'll also find a uh, handmade pasta place here and in this white building at India and Hancock Street is my favorite Italian restaurant in Little Italy, Mona Lisa. If you like lasagna, and by lasagna I mean like Sicilian style lasagna with lots of marinara sauce, tomatoes, uh, ricotta cheese, then definitely check out Mona Lisa. They've got a restaurant side that's over here through this door and they've also got a cool little Italian market you can get like sandwiches and you can bring some lasagna home to you and all of your friends. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some more of my videos on San Diego. If you're looking to check out the Gas Lamp District, I got a video for that right here, or my whole San Diego travel tips video. You'll also find more links in the description below to my entire San Diego travel series. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in one of those videos.